Sports and Songs podcast. Today's December 29th, Andy, 2022. It's our last show of the year. Yeah. This is season four, episode number seven. It's a songs episode, only songs. We're going to talk music. We're going to do an album of the week review. Yep. Talk a little bit about music and the history going back a couple decades. Yes. Well, we'll end the year here, Andy, on a, on a good note because tonight – I've got an album review for Foreigner, Foreigner. Who, as of right now, in the Heavy Metal Hall of Fame, Lou Graham is getting inducted. So that's also why we why we picked this. Lou Graham, yes, is going into the Metal Hall of Fame. Uh, this is, we're going to be doing the album review for Head Games uh, tonight. It's a 1979 album for Foreigner, and it's their third studio album, Andy. Yep. Here you go. Can you see it now? There it is. Order. So uh, this is a, a notable album cover, but we'll get to that a little more later. Let's start off here with the album. This was huge. Third album by British-American rock band Foreigner, released 1979, September, by Atlantic Records. Now, this marked the first appearance of bass guitarist Rick Wills, formerly of Joker's Wild and Small Faces, who replaced Ed Gallardi. And this was also the last album with founding members Ian McDonald and Al Greenwood, who left the band after recording Head Games. Uh, it's also the first, uh, last, I'm sorry, the last Foreigner album to feature lead vocal by Mick Jones. Now, the model in the photograph on the cover is American actress and actress and film producer Lizanne Falk. Is Lizanne Falk. Uh, this album came out once again, 1979. Here's the track listings. Dirty White Boy, lead track. Now, I don't think that could work in today's world, Andy. No, no. Dirty White Boy is the name of the song. Uh, next one is Love on the Telephone. Uh, very interesting here. here uh, song three is Women. Song four is I'll Get Even With You. Song five, <coughs> 17. Song six, Head Games, the title track. Song seven is Modern Day. Song eight, Blinded by Science. And the last two songs are Do What You Like and Rev on the Red Line. Now we'll get a little more into the songs because they did end up releasing five singles, Andy. Five. Yep. Now today you really don't see that you know maybe Metallica does that some Def Leppard maybe but boy Guns and Roses did five singles now you may have a little more information on this Andy but the personnel is Lou Graham lead vocals Mick Jones lead guitar also does the vocals on Modern Day Ian McDonald on keyboards and guitars Al Greenwood keyboards Rick Wills bass and Dennis Elliott drums now what i'll say here andy is this i'll list off the singles and you make your comments all right on the singles first one is dirty white boy august 1979 that was the first release off this album what was your take on that that is my favorite foreigner song okay oh um, of all of time all, okay. all time foreigner song i fell in love with that song early 80s there was a wrestler i believe his name was tony anthony he went by the name The Dirty White Boy and came out to that song. Well, that's oh, very good. Okay. That's a that's a perfect pro wrestling um, character. And the video, YouTube that video. And remember, it was 1979. We've all seen Lou Graham from like the I Want to What Love Is video and his solo album videos. Lou Graham's hair in that video. That's all I'm saying. So that'll be our homework. That's your homework to check out Dirty White Boy, the video. Okay. Now, we don't want to type that in any search engine because it could be flagged. That yeah, so just do it on YouTube, put video, for, Foreigner, Dirty White Boy, and then it'll be fine. Okay. Then they released Head Games, very well-known song. This was yep. November 2nd of 79. Very good song. Great song, yep. 1980, February, the song Women released. It was okay. It was okay song. I mean, for that album, it fit in. That, all the songs that were really good, but that was probably one of the more average songs on the album. Now, you may think that uh, 
they released two songs in the same month, but February 1980, they also released Love on the Telephone, but this was only in Holland. My notes say they only released this as a single in Holland. Yeah. And if you really, if you look at how the album charted overseas, I think they needed help and try, try to get other songs out. But uh, there was a reason that was released just in Holland here, not here. And then they finished with waiting um, all through the summer. They waited till fall. And after Labor Day on September 12th, <coughs> September 12th, 1980, they released I'll Get Even With You. But that was only in the UK. Yes. Again, the, song, the album wasn't doing well in Europe. So they were trying to release other songs over there. Interesting. Now, Billboard reviewer Gary Graff rated the song 17 to be Foreigner's ninth greatest song, calling it a hidden gem. Any yep. thoughts on that? 17 is a good song. Yeah, it's again, Foreigner is one of those bands where all the songs, I would hate to be the one to pick out which two or three you release on an album. Okay. Um, I've got some notes here from Ultimate Classic Rock. Other guys said um, from the songs, Head games, Dirty White Boy, Rev on the Red Line, and I'll get even with you are among Foreigner's 10 best or 10 most underrated songs. Okay. So, I mean, this song, this album is just so, I don't know where it got lost in the shuffle at that time. Hair bands were just starting to come out in that form of rock. So, I don't know if this came out and got lost in the shuffle or what. But looking back at it, wow, this is such a great, great album. Now, this went five times platinum, Andy. Not right away, but over the years, it went five times platinum, which is huge, as we're all aware of. That's a very successful album in the music world. And that's just in the U.S. That's that's five million copies in the U.S. alone. Yep. Now, the, the cover art, I've got the album cover up here. It says, in Wikipedia, it says the cover art was criticized by feminists for showing a teenage girl looking afraid in a boy's restroom. Wrong. Now, what was the scoop with that? What did they intend um, on this? Well, okay, what Luke Graham says is, um, let's see where I got here. Uh, uh, the head is a naval term for a bathroom, first of all. So it's kind of a play on words when they said head games. The naval naval term is the head for a bathroom. So it's, so it's head kind games. of a play on words with it right there. Um, yep, yep. Uh, according to Luke Graham, the lead singer foreigner, uh, is intended to look at cute or car cartoon like, you know. Um, Lou Graham said the girl was being naughty, erasing graffiti in the restroom. So I don't know if she found her name on the wall and she's trying to get rid of it. Who knows? Um, uh, Atlantic Records publicity director Stuart Ginsburg pointed out that the uh, about the head being the, the naval term for bathroom. So it was Atlantic Records brought that point out to try to save their butt there. Susan Steinberg, Susan Steinberg, a female commenting on this, stated that the girl on the cover is shocked by the graffiti. It's not like someone is attacking her. I swear to you, it's not premeditated. So even some women were defending this. She's in there trying to race it, and you, the look on her face is like someone walked in and caught her wiping it off. You know. So what she's for the new listeners out there are not familiar. She's erasing graffiti on the bathroom wall. Is what that's she's the doing. image they're trying to put out. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. And another thing of you say there about our 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 star on the cover there. You're looking at her and you're going, "Self, she looks kind of familiar." She played Heather McNamara in the movie Heather's in 1988. Oh, really? Opposite Chris Butler and Winona Ryder, yes. So she was one of the Heathers and the movie Heathers. Okay. So in case you're looking at her going, I recognize her from somewhere. She was also in a modeling agency, Ford Modeling Agency, along with someone, um, I don't know what became of this girl, someone named Brooke Shields. Ah, uh, yes. Um, uh, so she's done her stuff. Um, done movies. Uh, that's her big name movie. She was also less than zero. She played the character Patty in that one. Kind of a cult. Say anything. She played Sandra. Okay. Kind of some cult movies. If you, I hate to say cult movies like they're bad, but movies that were popular in that genre, that you know, groups, 87, 88, 89, they're all kind of fairly popular movies. She had bits parts in those. So if you see her there, you recognize her. Go. That's the girl from the Foreigner album. Interesting. Now, the 
you know, not, you know, this came out, this was considered the genre hard rock, 38 minutes, 12 seconds. Uh, I love the length here on these uh, albums back then, yeah. you know, 30, 30, 35 minutes. Love it. Uh, you know, they came out with double vision the year before head games yeah. in 79. They took a year off and came out with foreigner four in 81. That's gotta be the best four year period for three albums that any band has had other than maybe Led Zeppelin. Right. Foreigner was just that chunk of time, that late 70s, early 80s, right into the whole 80s hair band hard rock explosion. This was kind of like the the spring training for it, the warm up for it, to get it ready for it. Because if you'll go to the next slide, Dan, I'll tell you why. Here we go. It's a special feature here. Yeah, we don't see this here very often. It's usually this on the, is on the songs episode. Andy's Soapbox, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all right. Lou Graham's going into the Heavy Metal Hall of Fame today, deservingly so. Okay. Foreigner. Um, bands like Foreigner, Journey, set up the 80s for the hair bands. They all get to it. You listen to Foreigner, and you don't know, unless you someone told you, listen to Jukebox Hero. Was that song made in 1978 or 1985? You don't know. Yeah. If you look at the cover, you go, oh, well, Jesus. His hair is not halfway down his back, and they're not wearing girls' makeup, and those aren't you know neon colors on their clothes. Bullcrap. Foreigner is – I'll take Foreigner over Bon Jovi for hard rock. They're more hard rock than Bon Jovi. They're more hard rock than Aerosmith, if you ask me. And on this next one, send your hate mail to Andy at Sports and Songs Podcast. Okay. I'll take Foreigner over Van Halen every day of the week. Really? That's with Dave, with Sammy, with Gary Sharon. I don't care who's singing for Van Halen. Okay. Wolfgang can sing for all I give a damn. They're more hard rock than those guys, yet they don't give them credit because they were in the late 70s, early 80s. Oh, their one video they first made was for a ballad. Oh, that the same, same boat Night Ranger got stuck in. Open your ears and listen real, real good, folks. Like Johnny Fury used to say, you know, open your ears real wide. And not, and not just the released singles, but the entire album. Listen to this entire album for Foreign or Head Games. Like I said, it's forty minutes. You could a couple, three days on your way to work and back over the week. You could have this album listened to. Take a just next time you go downtown to Minneapolis or St. Paul to a ball game. You can have that whole album listened to on the way down there. Very just Lou Graham's voice is just I don't want to say perfect, but for that sound around it, it's not too screechy, it's not too screamy, it's not too ballady, it just fit. What they had going was so perfect. Now, do you um, hear any queen in this album? A little bit because the one producer that co-produced this also did a lot of queen stuff. Yeah, Roy Thomas Baker. Yep. So if you look at just this one foreign album, go, they're knocking off Queen. Yeah, no, he, the producer he, tweaking the sounds. So he stop that. produced better. a lot of the Queen, uh, the, those classic albums for Queen was the same yeah. guy. The only foreigner album that he produced was this one. So it's going to be a, a very tight, clean sound. Right. But look at the foreign album before this and Foreigner 4. Both great albums with different producers. Yeah, you can tell they're all foreigner. You know, some bands that get different producers that have but that album sounds different. All of Foreigner's albums, okay, this is going to sound bad. They don't all sound alike, but it's the same sound. It's yeah. the same band. It's not different producers. They're not that altered thing. by who's yeah. producing it. Uh, yeah. It's not, okay, got it. So the band is still them. They're still being true to themselves. Um, a lot of bands sell out to the producer and do what they say for the checkbook. Foreigner did what they wanted to for love of the music. But yeah, the um, to to hear people say Foreigner or and I'll throw Journey or Night Ranger or some of those other bands in there, they're as hard rock as the stuff we listened to in the eighties. Kids, um, just they didn't have the neon clothes. Their hair wasn't as hairsprayed. It was just no long. spray. It was it was long and no makeup. It was yeah, true, a, true authentic rock and roll. Right, the way God intended it. Well, yeah. you, know what you know what I'm going to do, Andy? I'm going to listen to the entire album, like you said, and then watch the video. 
Yeah. Um, also, um, now you got to remember, videos in the late seventies weren't what they were today. So I'm not really critiquing the style of the video. It's the hairstyles then. Lou Graham's hair then. A couple of the guys, the guitar players, you know, the t-shirts with a necktie and a jacket. No collared shirt. T-shirt, sport coat, and necktie. And you know, with with ten songs, five were released somewhere, uh, you know, on the uh, on the planet. Five were released, and so yep. there's not a lot of deep tracks on here. But uh, is there? There's no instrumentals, no and, ballad. And if you look at the times, Dan, back then, if you bought the forty five, if you bought the forty five for a song that was released, you probably got the entire album. Okay. Because a different song would be the B side. Yeah, there's only. Only they had a songs. song 11 when they re-released it in the 2000s somewhere. They're all three-minute songs. Two of the songs of the of the 10 are four-minute songs. It all you know, packs in there very nicely for 38 minutes for a 10 songs uh, on the album. Great, great. I'm going to listen to – so it's the YouTube video for – Dirty White Boy. Dirty White Dan, Boy. You're going to listen to that song, and you hear that beginning guitar, and you're going to go to your baseball team next year and go, I want this as my walk-up music. Well, the other thing I heard too is, uh, you know, Rev on the Red Line is yes. got some good guitar work. Yep. Also under, you know, underrated once again, but good guitar work. So that's our uh, that's our album of the week here. Uh, Foreigner Head Games, nineteen seventy nine, released in September. That's what we've got. Give it a listen. Um, leave the comments in the comments section there on the YouTube video if you have any. But uh, this is good stuff. This one five times platinum. This is no slouch. No, it's not. Not at all. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good week. See ya. See ya.